Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this one we're going to be talking about the new whistling techniques and uh, commands and everything. Basically you can group dinos together in classes and groups and uh, you can have them whistle onto like you can have them whistle to move to different places or you can have them whistle to like attack different things. A lot of cool stuff in this update and uh, we're going to be going through all of it here. So if you guys do enjoy this video make sure that you beat the crap out of that like button. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes. You guys always help me out with that and uh... Let's start off here with the uh, with the compies. So what I've done is, and you can do this really easily. If you hold down H, you can see what right down there at my taming bar. You can see it says taming order group one. Group one is everything besides the over raptors. As you can see, there's like dillos over there. There's compies. Group one is all of those guys. Group two is compies. I've set them to group two. I'm going to show you guys how to set them into groups in a second. I just want to talk about this for a sec. So group two is compies. Group three is dillos. And I'm, we're going to set up a new group now in a second, which will be group 4, which will be Overraptors. And they're also going to be in group 1 because, hey, I kind of want my Overraptors, my Compies, and my Dillos all to attack stuff. <laughs> so the way it works is, um, I'm just going to show you an example on one of these Compies here. So you can see right here, and you don't have to do this specifically on every single Compie. We talked about the fact that Compies are set to group 2. Now what I did was, I instead of hitting like add tame to group 3, or in this case group 2, I hit add uh, add class to group 3. So class means the type of dino, so if it's, if it's compies, it's going to be all compies are going to be in group 3. So let's just do that really quick and I'm going to show you. Let's go into H, hold down group 3, you can see everything now is in group 3. These guys are also in group 2, these guys aren't in group 2. They're all in group 1 as well, so group 3 and 1 are the exact same right now because of what I just did. Now another thing I can do is I can, I'm just going to remove that really quick, and let's just, let me just show you guys one more time. Uh, let's go right here. So group 3 is only those guys there, not these guys anymore. So what I can do is, if I, if I don't want all my compies to, bre to be in group 3 with the Dillos, I can have them, I can have just this specific one go in, but I don't hit class, I hit add tame to group 3. So it's only going to be this one here, so let me show you. As you can see, this is group 3. It's that compi and all those dillos. And if I want another one, I just set another one in. Uh, I want this guy in group 3. So you can see it's those two. So let me just show you a really quick example then. Let's go like that. Uh, they should start moving. There we go. <laughs> that guy's pooping. So this is the new move 2 command. We're going to be talking about that in a little bit. But as you can see, I whistled only those guys. So it was the two compies that we set into group into group 3 and then all of the Dillos which were already in group 3. So let's move all these guys back here. Let's move them all back. So to get this uh, new move to command um, you hit comma, okay? Comma on the keyboard. I don't know what it's gonna be for consoles so I guess don't ask because I, obviously I don't know. I don't even play consoles. So what I want to do now is I don't want these guys in group 3 anymore. I want my Dillos only in group 3. So I'm gonna remove these guys from group 3. What I can do is I can just do that move from group 3 and you guys can see group 3 is only Dillos now. So I want to put these guys back into group 2. Well they already actually are in group 2 as you can see. Right there. And I can move all of group 2 over here. And kind of separates them out a little bit. These guys sometimes it, it's a little bit weird. Sometimes they don't actually move. You have to do a second whistle. It's probably just a little bit of a bug for now. But um, yeah so that's, that's the basic concept of the grouping. And um, I guess I'm going to show you how to set up a group here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these over raptors as class 4. So over raptors are only, only going to be class 4. Now I can either actually set all the over raptors to class 4 or I can set just one over raptor to class 4. So let's go to 4 and you can see it's just this one here. And actually you know what I want this one also in class 4 so let's add him to class 4. And it's just those two as you can see and I can say hey I want class 4 those two guys to go right over there. As you can see, they just move straight over. This guy doesn't do anything, but I can add this guy to class 4 as well. Uh, or to group 4 even. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry if I made that mistake a second ago. So I want those guys over there. That's awesome. So this is group 4. So instead of keeping them as a group, I want them to be set as a class. So class 4 will now be over raptors. As you can see, it changed it on this one here too, so I'm just going to remove group. It doesn't really matter, you don't really need to actually remove that. It doesn't really make much of a difference. So now, let's just revise here a little bit. Okay, so group, oh, my mouse is kind of going a little bit weird. Um, group 4 
is over raptors group three is the dillos group two is the compies and group one is dillos and compies so what i want to do here is i want to set these guys to also go into group one because i want a command to be able to move all of my dinos instead of just doing follow all i can just move them all so what i want to do is i want to add over raptors to group one and as you can see here group one is everything so i can do this everybody go over there and another one because sometimes it just doesn't work oh they started moving before i whistled i think <laughs> so obviously the over raptors is super quick so let's just move everybody back here really quick and as you can see now we've kind of a little bit created kind of like a little bit of a mess i guess you know tons of dinos everywhere i want to separate them out a little bit so what i can do is hit two i want to move my compies over here that's where i keep my compies over there they're they're nice over there i like i like where they are <laughs> i want to move my dillos uh, i want to move my dillos a little bit further let's move them over there so dillos are going to move over there and hopefully not get stuck okay you're good and over raptors dude you're so far away i want you to come a little bit closer i want you to be right here they're super quick <laughs> so it's like it's super easy to separate out your dinos if you have them set into different classes like this and you have up to 10 classes as well so you can have 10 different kind of combinations of dinos as well which is really cool another thing i want to quickly mention here because i actually forgot to mention it you can actually walk up to these creatures so what do we have we have group two is compies so instead of actually just specifically going into here and actually clicking on that what i can do is just if i'm on group two i can walk up to this guy press z and he'll be added to group two so now we're looking at group two it's him and all those guys and i can also do the same to this guy here let's add him to group two as well nice and that's group two it also works the same for removing them as well so as you can see we have group two and he's no longer in group two and you're the same buddy i'm going to remove you from group two so what i want to do is i want to create a new group that has one of each in it so we're going to create a new group so this is going to be group five so i'm going to add tame to group five so it's going to be this over after it's going to be this compy because this is my favorite compy uh add tame to group five and it's going to be this dillo add tame to group five so now let's have a look at group five uh, we're gonna hit five there as you can see it's one of each like we just did and we're gonna move all those guys right there and those guys kind of stuck a little bit but yeah it's super simple it's really really handy for separating separating out your dinos moving them around and dude this is gonna be super handy for raiding because you'll be able to just like separate out your dinos and you can have them like move to one side of the base or like maybe you can have them move back to the wall so they defend a wall a little bit if they're breaking into your base or whatever and you can also set them to attack things so i don't want all these guys to attack i only want those one of each to attack this dodo right here so the attack command is the exact same as before you hit uh i guess full stop or whatever or whatever you like to call it so that now creates a new little icon and all of these dinos that i have in group five are going to attack that thing as you can see nice they just killed it and none of the other guys moved because they're not set to move oh that was it's really loud <laughs> okay so like that's basically it it's it's really cool um i'm gonna just do a little bit of a uh oh wow that guy's super quick we're just gonna do a little bit of testing here just so i can show you some more stuff here so um i want to maybe let's let's create a new group where it is so add tame to group this is going to be a new group where it is going to be all the compies and two dillos so add tame wait i can add class because i want all the compies so i add class to group six and we have this dillo here wasn't it that guy is super loud why is he so loud <laughs> uh uh remove tame okay that guy's that guy's in the uh in the dillo class so we're gonna have all the dillos and one one dillo or oh, all the compies and one dillo so i'm getting distracted by that guy's eating can you stop please give me that you stop it okay being loud <laughs> so now we're on group six so you can do that by hitting the numbers on the numpad obviously why is he so loud okay so i want all of my special little combination to move over there and now i want them to move over there so they're just going to keep moving over to wherever i set them so like i want them over that side of the base because that's where i want to keep them and i want all of these guys as well uh what i can do is i can either hit number one to bring all these guys back and bring everybody back together or I can go like kind of separate 
but that's actually gonna pull this guy over here so I guess if I go like that will he actually come back to us uh, I guess he's too far away <laughs> so actually let us just move these guys back so we need to go to group six which is our special group gonna move these guys back a little bit I think they're a little bit too far so let's run over to them a little bit here okay I want you guys to come back you got to come back to the group let's get everybody together here and move them all over to our special spot which is right here <laughs> so this is like essentially all you need to know for the grouping um it's pretty exciting I, I really like this idea of being able to class dinos and like in a raid you why is he so loud just stop dude <laughs> you know what you're gonna get it there you go now you're gone <laughs> that's what you get for being loud so in a raid you know you could have your dinos like set to different things so if you have like a pack of dara wolves and a pack of saber tooths you could have a pack of dara wolves set to group one and you could have the pack of saber tooths set to group two and then group three is both of them which is like it's cool because you can be like hey i want just those I want just the dire wolves to attack there. I want just the saber tooths to attack there. And then later on, hey, I want all of them to attack there. And that's not affecting everything else. You don't have to just whistle them onto something because of the new grouping system. Because I have my dire wolves, I have my saber tooths, but I might also have some rexes over here and some carnos and some raptors, which I don't want to set on to the wall or, or whatever's over there. So just the idea of being able to specifically lay out and strategically plan your raids around just like these specific dinos and you don't obviously you know the class let's just revise a little bit here the class means the dino so if i want all of my dire wolves to attack i can do that i can hit set them to a certain class so class two or whatever um if i want all of my saber tooths to attack as well when the dire wolves are attacking for group two i can also do that as well i can just set that to group two as well set class to group two um for this for the dire wolves and the saber tooths and you can separate them out and if i don't want all of my dire wolves to go i have like three really good ones that i want to keep with me i can set a group where it includes all the dire wolves and then a group where it only includes the uh the dire wolves that i can spare the ones that i maybe wouldn't mind if they were killed which is like i i really like the in-depth thought about all of this and the fact that you can actually plan out your raids really really well this way it's not just like running in being like oh you know what we got to whistle everything on but then but then we got to get this guy we got to get all these guys back because i don't want them to go but i only want these guys to go you know i don't know i i think it's a lot better and even just for like pv pve as well like this is going to be really handy because you're going to be able to like move around your dinos a little bit easier like hey i want all of my I want all of my dung beetles over there. I want all of my penguins over there. I want all of my uh, archatinas over there. You know, the snails. <laughs> like, it's oh, it's so cool. I don't know. Like, it's, it's really, really cool. And obviously, it's super simple to just create and remove them from groups. Like, hey, I want, I want this guy to be removed from group four. So group four is now nothing, you know? Group four previously was over raptors, but now it's nothing. So I can free that up. I can make that something else if I want to. I can make that over raptors and compies like it's it's very in-depth and, and i'm very very excited to see where they go with this another thing you can do as well um and this isn't that new but you can actually change you can order them to ignore whistles as well so like if there's some dinos that you you know if you have all your dire wolves set into group two um you can actually just put down some of them to ignore that whistle so when when you are actually going to do that say if you have all of your groups set up already um just get rid of that so like as well you can also do the ignore whistle instead if you don't have enough groups to be able to make a group of dire wolves all of them and then a group of just some of them which is super cool like i don't know there's a lot of uses for this and i guarantee that it's going to become one of the most popular game mechanics that's been released lately and uh, i'm i'm super excited to see where it goes and i cannot wait to raid something i don't even care what it is i can't wait to just raid using this new mechanic it's gonna be super cool so if you guys enjoyed this video if you found it helpful at all uh, make sure that you beat the crap out of that like button and subscribe as well because we got a lot of really really helpful videos like this on the channel we covered the new breeding mechanic we covered like a bunch of the new tames we covered everything so you guys can check that out if you want to but uh yeah i guess that's it for today so i will catch you guys next time